Now in our last lesson, we talked about how those, the trade winds and the variable winds cause rain or rains. In this presentation, we are going to see that apart from those steady winds and variable winds that cause rains, there are other local conditions that could cause rains. Like we have here, look at this chart. Here, we see that the winds are blowing across this water body and they get to this landmass which is actually raised. It's like a cliff. But when they get here, they get pushed up. This wind coming from this water body, they get pushed up. And once they get pushed up, they cool off. And because of the fact that they've been traveling over water, they have lots of moisture. And so when they cool off, they drop off their moisture in form of rain. So this is a local condition that would cause rain. Let's look at this chart and see another local condition that could cause rain. Here, look at it. This look at the sun really shining. This happens around the equator, where those perpendicular rays are falling more or less all the time. When there is water in those areas, like we have here, the air gets heated up all day. And as it gets heated up all day, it rises. And so as it rises, of course, because of the fact that it's been over this water body, as, as it's rising, it's carrying lots and lots of water with it. And as it gets hotter and hotter, the air gets fuller and fuller with moisture. The hot air gets fuller and fuller with moisture. Remember, hot air carries water. So it gets fuller and fuller with moisture. Then, as the sun begins to get down, let's say in the afternoon, late afternoon, around 4 p.m., the air just gets cooler like we have here, when the sun is no more shining. Around 4 p.m., what happens? The sun is no more shining, and the air cannot hold moisture anymore. So what will it do? It will just drop off all the moisture here in form of a heavy damp pour. And this kind of rain is called equatorial rain or equatorial rainfall because they generally happen around the equator. I'm sure you can remember when we've had this kind of experience around 3 o'clock or 4, 4 p.m. late afternoon we have a kind of heavy downpour and after that the sky clears up and then the sun comes out again. So this is another cause of rainfall. So in our next lesson we are going to talk a little more about the work of air.